I have spent hundreds of dollars on replacing broken spade bits and auger bits. So today I decided to buy a variety of different spade bits and auger bits from different brands and put them to the ultimate head-to-head -head test to see which one is the strongest, quickest and cheapest. My personal preference that I've always been using have been the Irwin bits. So that's why I've got Irwin auger bits and spade bits here as part of this demonstration. I've also got my hands on a set of DeWalt auger bits and also Craft Right auger bits and spade bits. So we're going to put the five different sets to a test and see which one's better. What these tests are going to include is drilling through a piece of 9045 with a drill and an impactor for time, also drilling through an LVL bit of hardwood for time using a drill and impactor, and after that we're going to start drilling through nails and seeing how quick they can drill through nails and if they can still keep being used after hitting a nail. These DeWalt three-piece auger bits are the most expensive by one cent. That's right, this costs $24.99. These Irwin ones, exact same sizes, are $24.98. So Irwin's gone through and one being cheaper than these by one cent. So in terms of ranking these, these are exactly the same price. You'll be paying $8.33 per bit, and we're gonna average the prices off per bit, since these have three in them, and some of our cases have six to eight. Third place, we've got our Irwin Spade Bits, which are $29.98. So they're the most expensive set out there, out of what we got here, but you get six bits in them, which brings the average price down to $4.90, per spade bit. Obviously you're gonna be paying more for the larger spade bits, so it's not a very fair indication of price per bit, but just for the sake of this video, to average it out, this is $4.90 per bit. We got this three-piece Craft Right auger bit. Craft Right is basically Bunnings home brand. And this set of three cost $8.90, which means you get one of these bits for $2.96. I do want to point out, we've got eight, nine, and 10 mil Craft Right bits and 16, 20, and 25 mil watt bits, same as the Irwin bits of larger size. If I got these in the smaller size, it would be a bit cheaper too. Uh, I've got the prices up on the screen right now if you want to compare everything. These are always going to be cheaper, these craft right bits, which we can see when we look at our eight-piece spade bit kit as well. These have all the same size spade bits as our Irwin bits, and this whole case of eight costs $7.98. That is less than a dollar per bit at 99 cents per bit. So I personally think these aren't going to drill through too effectively, and as soon as they hit a nail, they're dead. That's it. You're never using it again. All right, so that's how much everything costs. We've got a rough ranking right now on the order of the cheapest to the best. We're yet to use them though, so that's going to change very shortly. The first test is going to be with these Craft Right spade bits, and we've got our 16mm spade bit attached to our drill ready to go. Our first test is drilling through this 9045 pine without any pressure at all behind the drill. So this is a spade bit digging in, trying to pull itself through and doing all of the work. All right, we can easily ride that one off as a failure. It is not doing anything at all. Our next test though, we're gonna push through as hard as we can, and this is flying through this time. This is making a world of difference. And we exit through this 9045 pine for time of five seconds and 36 milliseconds. Now we're gonna try both of those exact same tests, but this time we'll be using the impact driver. Once again, the first test is trying to drill through with no pressure behind the impactor. And as last time, we can see that the spade bit isn't going to pull itself through. So we're going to jump to the next test, and I'm going to push behind it with as much force as I can. And we just get through. There we go, 4.1 seconds. So that impactor so far is quicker than using the drill. All right, so next up, we have our Irwin Speedball Spade Bits. We're using the 16mm again, and the same test with the drill, no pressure behind it at all and we're just gonna see if the spade bit can pull itself through and do all the work, unlike the craft bit spade bit. And there we go, we got through at 4.63 seconds. Next test, we're gonna push through as hard as we can, and that flew through at 0.46 seconds. Now let's see if the impactor is quicker than the drill. No pressure behind it at all, it, spade bit's doing all the work right here, and there we go, 3.85 seconds, so it is quicker than the drill. And now I'm pushing as hard as I can behind it, and I knocked over my saw stills, but 1.89. As we can see, the impact there was no match at all for the drill, which is a dominant tool going through at less than half a second. I'm going to switch my Irwin 16mm spade bit to a 16mm auger bit, and let's see how this goes. With the drill, no pressure behind it at all. Can it pull itself through? And I went off to a great start. It slowed down at the end, but we got through at 2.63 seconds. And straight into a full force behind it, and we got 0.94 seconds. Right, so I switched our auger bit into an impact driver, see how quick it can go through with no pressure behind the impactor whatsoever. 
and we just got stuck right at the end there. It pulled itself through post of the, most of the way, but we could not exit out the other side without any pressure. So I'll try again as hard as I can, full force down on it, and we got through at 2.43 seconds. So once again, the drill is the quickest tool to use, and having a look at the top three, we've got the drill in the first and second place. So our final bit for the 9045 test are these DeWalt auger bits. Now first test with no pressure at all, is 0.83 seconds. Our PB out of all the bits is 0.46. So let's see if we can beat it, if we push down as hard as we can in 0.79. So applying pressure barely changed it. Going off data from our previous test, I don't have high expectations for the impact driver, but we'll try it out no matter what, and right on two seconds for the first test, with no pressure behind it. Pushing as hard as I can behind it this time, it gets through at 2.17 seconds, so that is slower while pushing all my pressure behind it. So here's a look of our quickest times drilling through that 9045 pine, and as we can see, the drill was a superior tool, bringing in the first, second, and third, all under a second and those Irwin spade bits are the quickest time by far so we're going to keep an eye on the spade bits and I'm just going to use the drill for the future test from now on. So I don't have high expectations for this craft right spade bit as it took 5.3 seconds for it to get through 90-45 pine but here we are this is full force the only test they're doing is with the drill full force for the LBL to see the quickest time. And we finally got through right on the 23 second mark, which is not a great starting time. Now let's see if Erwin Spadewitz can do it again and set the fastest time. So here we go as hard as I can through, and that was unbelievably fast at 1.2 seconds, which may in fact be the quickest time again. All right, so I'll switch Erwin Spadewitz over for an auger bit, and let's see if we can beat this time. Pushing through, and we just missed out, but we got 1.69 seconds, which is still crazy fast. I feel like we've already established with these tests that it is worth spending a bit more money. And let's go through with this DeWalt bit. Flying through at 0.96 seconds. That is the quickest time. So I still want to give these Craft Ride Auger bits a fair shot. See if they're better than the Spade bits. These are a smaller size, so it should go through quicker. And that was really quick at 1.14 seconds. Uh, it obviously won't be as quick if we had a 60mm bit, but I might need to get one and try it out. Before we jump into our final test for the day, let's have a look at all the data we've accumulated. It's quite interesting to see that Erwin Spade bit and DeWalt Auger bit are in contention of being the best bits out there. Uh, obviously, you can see the Spade bit has came first in the Pine, second in the LVL, and vice versa for the DeWalt Auger bit. And right down the bottom there, our Craft Right Spade bits have no hope whatsoever for winning the prize. Even though they are so cheap, it's just not worth buying them with those slow speeds that they're taking to get through. For our final test, I'm going to get the hammer and nail out, and we're going to poke some nails through the edge of this LVL hardwood. Our aim is to get all these drill bits to hit the nail, and we want to see if they will get through the nail, if the nail will stop them, or if we can also reuse them afterwards. So the first up is using our Irwin spade bit. I think this is going to have the best chance of getting through. If it does, it's struggling a little bit there in the middle, obviously taking a bit of time, and we do actually get through the nail at 8.04 seconds. Now I want to see how quick it can drill through this LVL hardwood after hitting the nail. Our first time was 1.2 seconds and it's just already gone over that 2.33 so it's almost double the amount of time. So next up is our Irwin auger bit and we're making a bit of a mess of the bench, mess of the table trying to get it through. I'm pushing down as hard as I can and I've sped up this footage quite a bit here but no matter what I spent out half a minute trying to and we just could not get through the nail at all. So I'm more curious to see how quick it can drill through now after hitting the nail. But its previous time was 1.69 seconds, and it started off pretty good, and we've just hit a slow patch here, and obviously we can see the end of the bit is a bit blunt with 4.46 seconds. Next up is our DeWalt auger bit. Going through the nail, you can see it's kind of pushed the head of the nail out a little bit. It jumped out a bit there, and we're having the same outcome as the Irwin auger bit. This is sped up, and we just cannot get through it. Looking into the hole though, our auger bit grabbed onto the nail and completely just ripped it out, detaching the nail but still could not drill through it. Before making contact with the nail, our dual auger bit drilled through the LVL in a time of 0.96 seconds and I do not believe it. We have got the exact same time even after damaging the bit, hitting the nail. I also just wanted to see how these craft right auger bits went, hitting the nail and we got the same outcome as your other auger bits. It just hit the nail and it would not go through no matter how long I tried. Our craft right auger bit had a time of 1.14 and we just got through at 1.25 showing that the nail didn't do much damage to this craft right auger bit either. So I, I do want to get myself a 16mm version and see how well that can really go. 
I'm still shocked that Dewalt Orgabits had the exact same time after hitting a nail. I'm sure that time will decrease if we continue to hit more and more nails though. And we can see the rankings for the both of the urban bits also stayed the same. So here's a look of all of the spade bits that won each tier of challenges we put them through. So we can see the craft right spade bits were the cheapest, but I'm going to rule them out of the contention straight away just from the poor performance they did in every single field. Our quickest through the pine were our Irwin spade bits, and they were also the only ones that could drill through a nail. So they're definitely up there, but I'm going to put them second to DeWalt Auger bits because they're the only ones that could hit the nail, drill through after hitting a nail, and still maintain the same speed as I had before going through the LVL, which was also the quickest time out there. So you've already got all the times in front of you of how quick all these bits were. I'm going to go back, edit it, look at it all, see all the times, but something that the time doesn't show you is that you don't need to push as hard because these little drill tips in the speedball bits you don't need to push as hard because it just pulls it through for you until you're at that very end point and you've got to push it through um, so these do require a bit more effort especially after hitting that now you need to push a little bit harder for them but I'm just impressed that it actually ripped through that nail and kept going instead of tying up the nail and getting stuck. And to give a very unfair test to these craft right auger bits, as this actually seemed to perform quite well, spade bits in that last test there, it didn't even reach it to the nail. Uh, these spade bits definitely aren't great. Wouldn't recommend them, but I would need to actually get a 16mm auger bit for these craft rights, and it might make the world a difference. I might change my opinion, but these auger bits did seem to handle fairly decently. Apart from the spade bits getting through that nail there, these DeWalt auger bits seem to take the cake. They just flew through no effort at all. Obviously though, as we saw, as soon as there's a nail in the way, it hit the nail, it couldn't go through it, but that's just those rare circumstances. You don't actually want these to be able to penetrate nails. You want to avoid nails at all costs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this small comparison with just a few packets of these spade bits and auger bits. I would actually love to do a huge video if you guys like this on just so many different brands, so many bits, and we'll do a full extensive review. And leave down in the comments below if there's any other areas in this video I didn't cover that you would be interested in seeing uh, what these bits can do. And I'll make a next video with even more bits.